tutorial today on, or I don't know if it's a tutorial, but what you pack in your sporting bag. So I'm going to try to get through this pretty quick so it doesn't take too long. Um, so I just have a jam sport bag. Um, I know your team may have like individual bags or whatever. I just choose to do, um, I just choose to stick with this because I like this better than most of the other softball bags because I play softball, obviously. Alright, so obviously you're first going to want to start with packing your stuff in it, you know, like your sporting stuff. So I'm going to simulate that or whatever with my glove. And I'm just going to tell you brands in case you're interested. And this is a Wilson, the A2000. So, um, so you have packed your stuff now. What we're going to do from like head to toe. So starting with your hair, which is one of the most important parts, um, I suggest bringing many hair accessories. So of course you're going to want to bring your like hair ties, you know, to keep everything up. And then, um, I play softball and we all like wear, you know, bows. And so I just have a couple bows in here. And these actually, um, I made, and there's a tutorial for them, um, that I, so you can just like look under, that I made, so just look under that, and then I just have this little hair thing in case my friend, you know, if they forget one, but what I really like to bring, I love these Ruepic headbands, um, R-O-O-E-P-I-C, go to Ruepic.com to order them, um, because they're so great, they are so perfect for your hair, they keep everything in place, and um, they're cute, and I definitely suggest them. I ski also, and they are perfect for skiing and any sport you want to do. They are perfect, and they're cheap. So check out Rupert.com. All right, so now we're going to move down to our eyes. So eye protection is very important, but um, like from the sun. So if you're in an outdoor sport and it's hard to like see because it's like too bright or something, I suggest sunglasses. Some sports don't allow sunglasses, but um, a lot of them do. So I suggest bringing sunglasses because they're important to being successful as a softballer or any sport. Just kidding. Okay, so um, I suggest bringing water. That's kind of like a no-brainer. I just always pack my water bottle in my bag. Whatever. Alright, so nutrition just kidding. I always bring paper towels in case you like in a first aid kit, like band-aids and stuff really. Because if you start like bleeding or whatever you can just wipe it up and get back to playing. Um and if you like spill something on your shirt and you're about to go play, you can just wipe it off. So it's always good to bring paper towels. And, um, and if you have like a runny nose or something. And power bars are Nature Valley protein. Peanut butter, dark chocolate. That's good. They always work really good for me, so just saying. Oh, and I forgot to mention the sunglasses. They aren't really a specific brand, so that's why I didn't say like what brand they are. And, um, yeah. Alright, so I always bring hand sanitizers. I actually have a couple because you get really dirty on playing sports and like if you play a sport with a ball or whatever, so many people have touched up before and you never know what they have on their hands and um, also like for us, we are in the mountains so the ball will like run on the ground, run along the ground and sometimes it will go through like elk poop and all that so it's always good to have this, so you're not gross. And, um, girls, toiletries, no brainer. You don't want to be stuck out there without them. You know what I'm saying. Alright, so then we're going to pack, I always pack like tennis shoes, um, because I know for my sport you wear cleats, but for like a lot of the sports, um, it's gross if you don't have, um, shoes. Or it, or it doesn't gross, it just doesn't feel good, like, your feet will start to hurt and you don't want to wear your cleats everywhere or 